Okay, uh, I was just gonna see, I was thinking about what tutorials I could do, and I'm trying to learn how to program for the DS, the Nintendo DS, so I decided I might try to show you guys what I'm doing. Basically, you have to get DevKit Pro and stuff, just search DS programming on the internet, and you'll figure out how to set up the DevKit Pro, and the, this is, I'm using Programmer's Notepad, which comes with the DevKit Pro because it's easy just to make your stuff. I have a basic vector class which has a vector 2 and 3 obviously templated just simple just showing you that. Uh, now I got my sprite class and well the sprite class is basically uh, just an easier way of me for me to handle it because most people do functions just a shit, uh, crap load of functions and so it's what I have is I just have a vector 2i which is a two, it just holds two integers, and it's just the position. I have a pointer to a short, an unsigned short, which is the graphics memory, which is like, I don't know, something about where it's stored in the memory, the sprite. And then the unsigned in, unsigned char, which these are just type defs, and that's the gra frame graphics, which is uh, what frame, the memory for the frame. I just have the frame and the state, which I'm not really using, and I have, I'll go through the functions real quick that I put in my sprite class. I have animate, move, set, x, set, y, set, position, uh, set, I have a, probably go like that. All these set and gets, and then in init function, just so, because I don't know, I didn't try it yet, but I'm try I want to init the OMA, because you have to allocate the sprite. I want to init it after I in initialize the OMA manager, which I'll get into in a second. So, whoops, and then the sprite takes a constructor, the memory, X and Y, and I haven't played with the constructor much. Now basically how you're going to set this up is, here's the make file. This make file I copied out of, you go uh, into the DevKit Pro and then you go to examples NDS animation and basically I copied this make file from there but I was reading through it and I was understanding these are all the folders that you'll have and basically this will be your build folder this will be where all your CPP files go this is where all your data goes like music and stuff and images unless they're sprites and then this will be where all your includes like header files go and this is where all your sprites will go and then basically these are just extra flags for the build options and stuff and then this is where you link other libraries so if you wanna try using SDL which I was trying but it's really hard you'd you know link SDL right this is the directory to the libraries basically the directory you can add another one I think you can just do plus equals instead of equals and these are like the outputs and stuff I don't know then this is some kind of iteration through all your CPP and ping files I don't know what that exactly is but um, these are your here's your build and here's your clean and here's your else and then basically you're gonna make an NDS and an ELF and here's what happens basically if it's a ping grit takes care of creating the image and it takes sprite.grit which I'll show you what that is in a second uh... let's see yes I am making a remake of Pokemon so it's called Pokemon and I hope I would, I wouldn't get in trouble for that I'm not gonna sell it or anything but basically here's your sprites and you have your sprites which mine's just a little sprite like that and you have your grit file which hopefully if it opens right is basically just some commands for how you want to convert your image file to work now is what you'll do once you're in here after you have all your stuff set up which I'll I'll get into coding in my next tutorial you'll click make and down here it'll be like oh I'm making 
and then if any purple things come up, then it failed, and unless, well, some purple things are warnings, then it didn't, but if you exit code zero, you're awesome, and it creates Pokemon.nds. Now, what you're going to want to have is, you're going to want to have an emulator, which mine, I know I have a crap load of stuff, is DSM yeah, blah blah something. Now it's probably going to take a while, one sec. Okay, here it is. And all you do is you file and I'll just, you, you do open ROM and you open the ROM, but since I did mine, mine's recent. Pokemon.nds, and guess what? My sprite is rendered right there. Pwned. Hope you can see that. You probably can. And you can reset the uh, the thing, and and then I configured it. I can show the FPS, and somehow it's only going at 28. That is not good. What? Oh, yeah, it's because Cam Studio. I was like, what the hell? I was running at 60 before. But <laughs> that's because this is like the actual. I think it goes just as good as the DS would. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but yeah. Okay. So now I just want to get into. Oh, I was right clicking, that's why it wasn't going away. Uh, your OMA is what manages all the sprites right here. So I allocate the graphics. And basically, now what is going to happen is you're going to update the. So then my main.cpp is you see I set the OMAs. I like set one of the sprites or whatever. And then. I wait for the thing to be updated and then I update the OMA which updates all the sprites and you can have 128 sprites and then there's tiles and stuff which I haven't really learned yet. I'm kinda iffy on, like it's really hard to learn there's, I mean the tutorials are really weird but I'm trying and then there's like a tiling background thing that you can use and that's what you use for backgrounds and it has 8x8 eight eight tiles and I'm pretty sure you can have uh, 64 by 64 maps, so 64 tiles X and Y, and then is what you do is you just once you get into the next area, just load a new map and keep loading new maps or something like that. At least that's what I've been reading about. All right, uh, next one we'll get into more coding and stuff, hopefully. But I just wanted to kind of go over the DS.